Marking Marking Dynamite Dynamite TV. TV. And now the 50 best photos of our solar system. Mercury in color. Taken by the Messenger spacecraft in 2008. Venus, a real color image of Venus taken by the Mariner 10, processed from two filters. The surface is obscured by thick sulfur dioxide clouds. The blue marble photograph of Earth, taken during the Apollo 17 lunar mission in 1972. The moon, as seen from Earth's northern hemisphere. This image provides a global snapshot of weather patterns across the planet. Here, bluish-white water ice clouds hang above the Tharsis volcanoes. This is an enhanced color image of Phobos from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. And here we have an enhanced color image of Mars's other moon, Deimos, taken in February of 2009. Jupiter! As seen by the New Horizons spacecraft during its gravity assist in 2007. Jupiter has 67 confirmed moons, of those we only have decent pictures of 7. First up is, and I cannot wait to be corrected for this by the grammar Nazis, image of Ganymede's anti-Jovian hemisphere taken by the Galileo orbiter. Europa. The darker regions are areas where Europa's primarily water ice surface has a higher mineral content. This image was taken in September of 1996 by the Galileo spacecraft. Callisto. This is a view of the heavily cratered terrain of Callisto's anti-Jovian atmosphere obtained in 2001 by the Galileo spacecraft once more. The large impact structure, Asgard, is on the limb at the upper right. The prominent raid crater below and just right of the center is Bran. Here is the spacecraft's true color image of Io. The dark spot just left of the center is an erupting volcano Prometheus. The whitish plains on either side of it are coated with volcanically deposited sulfur dioxide frost, whereas the yellow regions contain a higher proportion of sulfur. And then right here we have some less interesting moons of Jupiter. Ah, uh, moving on! To Saturn in its natural color, photographed by Cassini at its 2009 equinox. Saturn has 62 moons with confirmed orbits, 53 of which have names and only 13 of which have diameters larger than 50 kilometers. Titan. Reminds me of the movie. Oh boy, you guys are gonna have a heyday with me. Enceladus. Re. Mimus. Or, you know, Death Star, whatever. Pandora. Ooh, I like that one. Meth- Methon. Helene. Epimet. Calypso? Another one. Oh no, we had a Callisto, yes. Talisto. Hi. Hyperion. That's pretty cool. Lots of stuff going on there. Janus. Iapetus. Tithius. Prometheus. Dion. Phoebe? B.O.B. Uh, Atlas. Up next is Uranus as a featureless disc photographed by the Voyager 2 in 1986. Fun fact, in 2620, scientists finally got tired of that stupid joke, so they renamed Uranus Eurectum, believing the revised name to be much less funny. But in the meantime, let me just butcher some names of some of the things that float around Uranus. Up first we've got Titania, Umbri, Oberion, Larissa, Miranda. My goodness, I had no idea Uranus was so popular. And here is Neptune. This picture shows the great dark spot and its companion bright smudge. On the west limb, the fast-moving bright feature called Scooter and the little dark spot are also visible. And now for the moons, we have Triton, Ariel, Despina, Proteus, and Puck. And here's a color image of Pluto, photographed by the New Horizons spacecraft on the 13th of July, 2015. Pluto's moons, Charon, Vesta, and most peculiar, Ceres. Yeah, yeah, hey, Santa, man. Wait, 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 where are you going? Come back. Hey, what's up, everybody? If you enjoyed my video, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, add to playlists. 
just do all that good stuff because it really helps me out um, and it keeps this channel rolling just for you guys. Thank you. All right, and now for the number one spot, Pluto's Surface. Really cool shit. All the music in this video is provided by Time Protocol. You can check them out. Um, I'll leave some links and some things you can click to discover more music from the future. Don't forget to check out my last video, Strangest Pictures in the World Ever. Uh, you can get to it just by clicking right there. Lots of weird stuff going on in there. Uh, if, you, if you don't like weird stuff, well, then you might want to find a different channel here at DTV. Bye. You're watching Dynamite TV.